So they're telling me, don't play God. And the new religion, people are coming in with religion, don't play God, you're not God, God is God, and he lives somewhere else, and don't play God. And you know what? I say, yeah, play God. Be the moral chooser. Make morality good again, right? Play God, for heaven's sake. Ha, <laughs> for heaven's sake. Play God. Start playing God, because guess what? You are as God. You're made from two gods. One is yin and feminine. One is yang and masculine. And we can talk about those qualities all day. But the truth is, we are as gods. And that is not hubris. That is taking responsibility for yourself as a created being from a created divinity. Because everything is holy. Every fucking thing is holy. Do you hear me? So stop... Stop diminishing and stop tearing down the holy stuff now one thing you need to understand is that shit is holy and evil is holy that's a hard one that's that's rough but if you get this then you begin to understand if everything is okay then nothing is good you see what i'm saying so in other words what we have to do is make choices and right now i'm making the choice to say you know um the, that the feminine is the material world. And that without the material world and our brains and bodies and stuff, we wouldn't know God. We wouldn't know the invisible part of us. Because the visible part of us is the lady part. And so to say that it's, it's not holy isn't okay. But what we've done if we said, oh, it's dead, it's, the world is dead, it's not holy. It's not our mother. And so, we, but we worship it anyway. So we're worshiping dead. We're worshiping dead stuff. All we have to do to shift this whole perverse mess we're in right now is to make the physical world holy again. Make the physical world holy again. Think about what that's going to do. If we make the physical world the wife of God, let's bring her back into her holy perspective because doing so will change everything. The physical world is the wife, the feminine aspect of God. God is two entities, yin and yang. We are the result we are the Jen. We are the combined gods in action, in life, in faith. This is who we are. And all of our stuff and all of our desire and all of our bullshit, everything. So what I'm trying to point out here is that we, as far as this holistic thing goes, the holistic plan is the Tao. In other words, I am, I am made from a he and a she that are mysterious and inaccessible in many ways, except for through me. And that's what Jesus said. You will know God through me. That's what he said. The reason he said that was not because he, that guy, is going to save you or tell you anything. He is using himself as the metaphor that says, all of us are like him. And he said that. He said, be like me. He said, Did, I'm not going to save you. He said, be like me. In other words, I am in the space of knowing I'm made from the two and that I am as holy as they are and that I wouldn't know anything about the holy of holies if I weren't here knowing that. See how this works? All right. Bye.